हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग विद फिफ्थ लेक्चर इन द चैप्टर फोर सप्लाई या वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम चैप्टर एंड हियर इन दिस टुडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट चेंजेस इन सप्लाई सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ देर इज अ चेंजेस इन सप्लाई कर्व विच इज बीन गोइंग ऑन एंड वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द सप्लाई सो एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट इन द स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन वी इज लर्न अबाउट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग सप्लाई दैट आर वी कैन से price of a product and second is other than price which constitute all the four factors so same way here only you find that expansion and contraction of supply which is based on the price and you find that the second is increase and decrease in supply which is been there or it is been noted because there is a change in the factors other than price so which are affecting the supply so here this are the two types of changes which has been happening mainly and today we are going to learn about expansion and contraction of supply so let us start with expansion and contraction of supply now here it says that when other factors means other than price which factors affecting supply are there they are remaining constant that is level of technology you find that uh, we can say expectation regarding future prices factor prices factor prices nothing but we can say cost of production or factor of production which are help, which are helping us to make the production of the goods all the raw materials labor we can say capital everything then comes the we find that other factors like government policies etc so all that particular things are remaining constant and you find that then the law of supply is been applied and that time we experience expansion and contraction of supply how when there is an increase in supply when there is an sorry when there is increase in price the supply will what it will happen you find that the supply will increase because it has a positive relationship we have already studied the law of supply as well as in the introduction also we have studied how the supply is working so you find that on the basis of law of supply you find that a price increase increases you find that supply increases when a price decreases you find that supply decreases and this is how you find that expansion and contraction is been happening so to understand it very clearly we are taking up here a uh, diagram we can say table and a diagram form so let us illustrate with first su supply schedule there is a hypothetical data which has been taken up here that is price of apples in rupees and supply of apples in kgs these are the two columns which you find here so at price 50 you find 200 rupees is a supply of apples then at price 60 you find 400 rupees of apples are there at price 70 you find 600 at price 80 it is 800 and at price 90 you find 1000 kgs of apples are been supplied now this table is been shown to us but here the main thing is in expansion and contraction we are going to take at the base value that is rupees 70 so here we are going to take at 70 which is the initial price where the supply is 600 now what happens when a price decreases from 70 to 60 it is getting decreased because the price decreases the supply decreases from 600 to 400 again when a price decreases from 60 to 50 you find 400 it becomes 200 so this is how you find that the supply is getting contracting same way you find that when a price is 70 from price 70 it becomes 80 you find that from 600 it becomes 800 from 80 it becomes 90 if price becomes increases you find that from 800 it becomes 1000 so this is what is happening up so to understand it very clearly you find that we are going to go with a diagram form so here in a diagrammatic form you find that we have taken on the x axis that is supply of commodities and the y axis we have taken price of commodities now here we have taken a 2 to cm gap where 200 200 uh, gap units of kgs are taken up here whereas here on the 1 cm gap you have taken 10 rupees price change now as we as i told you we have we have initially the price is 70 and the supply is 600 so we have taken a price 70 here and a supply 600 here so this is our starting point that is a now what happens when suppose the price reduces to 50 directly when price reduces to 50 what happens here you find that from 70 it became 50 this from 600 it becomes 200 so you find here at 50 the supply is 40 because the price has decreased the supply has decreased and the seller does not want to go with losses so many of the supplier won't uh, we can say sell at a lower prices so that time this there is a scarcity of supply or we can say there is a shortage of the products in the market and supply is been less 
now again you find that you find you experience here contraction of supply what do you experience you experience here contraction of supply because from 70 it became 50 the price became less as the price became less the, with the law of supply the supply also became less same way at the point a again that the price is 70 and the supply is 600 it increases to here we can say 90 that time the supply also increases from 600 to 1000 so here there is an increase of we can say there is an increase of supply so here at the point a again it has been starting and here now there is an increase at point at price 90 you find that supply is now 1000 and it is going here so you experience here there is an increase in supply due to increase in price and that is called as what expansion of supply so this is the same thing as we studied as we studied in the uh, we can say law of supply so same thing is been experienced when there is a change in price and on the basis of change in price there is a change in supply curve we experience expansion and contraction of supply so this is what is happening up here you find that contraction when the price reduces and increase when we can say when the price increases supply increases and you find expansion of supply is been experienced i hope you have been clear with this concept as we have already done this law of supply so it's the same basis you find this concept is all about so this is what is happening up now let's go with the analyze what all things we need to write in analyze so explaining of this particular data table as well as we can say graph is also necessary in the exam when it comes for five marks so here we have to write the first point very first point that is you find that the price of an apple represents on the y-axis and the supply of apple represents on the x-axis yes that is the first thing which we have to write second here what the explanation starts where the initial price was 70 we does not start from the table it is starting from 50 here the price is 70 and the initial supply was we can say that is 600 kgs here 600 will come which is seen at point a where the price rises to 80 so now what is happening from 70 it becoming increased to 80 so what is happening up the supply extends to 800 kgs so here the supply from 600 which was initial in the table it increased to 800 again when the price rises still further to 90 you find that it the supply extends from 800 to 1000 at the point c so from a to point c we experience that from the moment from point a to point c we experience the supply curve has increased and that increase is called expansion of supply it increase is called expansion of supply the same way you find that again you come to the initial point that is a now the price has fallen to 60 so from 70 it becomes 60 and the supply has contract from 600 kgs to 400 kgs now if a price falls further in to 50 means from rupees 60 again it goes down to 50 with the starting in the table we have seen the supply is at that time is 200 which has very less compared to the initial one now what happens this is you find that the in the supply curve again this movement from a to c we can say it that there is a decrease in supply and because of decrease in supply you find that sorry, there is a decrease in price and there, because of decrease in price you find there is a decrease in supply and we find there is a contraction of supply so this is what is happening up which is directly affecting the price so it has a positive relation between the price and the supply of goods and when a price increases there is an expansion of supply and when price decreases there is a contraction of supply as the seller want to attain seller want to gain more profit he try to sell more when there is a high prices and sell less when there is a low prices i hope you have been clear with this here make sure you write the supply is 600 i have just missed so go with the thing i will be sending pf pdf i will make sure i will correct it and you write from that if you find any doubt anything again you tell me in next class we are going to go with increase and decrease in supply which is an we can say opposite of it or uh, there is a there is depend on the other factors they are not depending on the price so price is constant and other factors are affecting the supply of the product so this is what we are going to learn in the next lecture i hope you have been clear thank you